Welcome back, Stasis 23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have another unboxing for y'all coming from Robert Clunch. This is coming from Knife Works in Columbus, Louisiana, Columbia, Louisiana, in my neck of the woods. I always try to do business with them when possible, just like my local shop, Jim's Firearms. So today we're going to use the Spyderco Roadie. Excuse me if y'all hear a generator in the back because I'm at my uh, old house right now doing this video for y'all. And let's get into it. Let's see. Uh, there's two knives in here, I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna see what they are. Alrighty, let's see. Hopefully they don't have any tactical peanuts. Let's see, I don't remember if they use them or not. Ah, yep. Let me put this off to the side. So, we have two Civivis. And it looks like they, they put a patch in here too. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Looks like we got something in front of that. Sure. Get this out here. I'll probably add this in to my 10K giveaway once everything settles down here. There you go. Go. We knife. And then you flip it around and you got the Civivi. That's kind of odd. <laughs> they have it. Oh, because they got the made better, I guess. I don't know. There you go. Put that over here move this box so i don't get any peanuts let's see let's just i'll we'll go with this one first let's see which one is this uh all right what does it say a name okay yeah all right these both look pretty interesting to me <clears throat> and they both had some things that kind of turned me off about the knife so you get your polishing stuff like always, your microfiber cloth, I mean. This right here is the new Elijah Isham design, the little Lazar, I think it is. Uh, is that rust? What is that? I don't know. It doesn't, I don't think it's rust. Yeah, this is the new Lazar G10 handles, Greystone wash. This is in the 10CR15 MOV. That's basically Chinese equivalent to VG10. And I've tested some of theirs uh, on uh, one of the other oh, one of the other knives. I think it was that uh, detent slip joint. I uh, can't remember the name offhand, but that that one did pretty good. Uh, VG10 is very very corrosion resistant. It was made for kitchen cutlery, I think. What is that? Hold on. Okay, yeah, I thought it was rust for a second. So it's got this upswept upswept Persian blade. Um, I like how the handle kicks out. It doesn't have that super deep trawl that a lot of the Isham designs have. And I'll show you all what, there's the Isham logo right there and the blade steel right. Can y'all see that? The camera's been acting up. 10 CR, it's, I didn't just take my word. Um, feels decently thin. You can see it going up right there. Looks like a hollow. Maybe, yeah, I think it's a hollow. It might be a flat grind. This is just an unboxing, not the full review. Um, the one thing that kind of caught me off guard on this and we're about to see just from a, just a grip test is the pocket clip. They decided to cheap out and use the same screw from uh, this side that, that's holding the knife together and this tap again which sucks because you can see how high it goes and usually that's going to create a hot spot let's see you can see it doesn't stick up past it but you know that goes up pretty high let's see now doing light cutting you know maybe just breaking down one box or something like that you should be fine i don't know we'll have to see once i actually get some uh actual testing on this to see if that creates a hot spot but from first grip, it doesn't feel too, too bad, but that usually does not translate always to uh, putting force behind a cut. So we will see, that's the first one, the Civivi Lazar. And let's see, what do we have in this next one? Let me pop this open. <clears throat> ah. Same stuff in the inside of that zipper pouch. And we have the baby banter. Wow, this I forgot how tiny this one was. I handled this one at Blade Show. 
<laughs> the one that I had my name on to be able to buy it got stolen at Blade Show. Flow through construction, two standoffs, deep Harry Pot clip about the size of the knife. Could have probably shortened that up a little bit. At least they have the recessed screws, good retention. Let's see, action. Now, one thing I liked about this one, and it probably kept the price down a little bit, because my other, my, the original, um, the Wee Banter had S35. Now they have it in 20 CV, I'm pretty sure. They went with Nitro V here. I'm perfectly fine with that. Nitro V is a good steal. It's kind of like, you know, somewhat like ABL and stuff like that. Um, it takes a very, very keen edge. Now, I will say this, though. And I had one of the original, um, what was it? The It was a Ferrum Forge, first Ferrum Forge design with uh, the Nitro V. The Fortix, no, uh, I can't think of it. But that that original one that I have, I, I've had issues with it. And it could be a, a really bad burnt edge. I don't know but I keep getting chips along the blade. So I plan on testing this as much as I possibly can. I mean, it's a tiny little blade. I mean, look at the, this is not a big blade by any means. Let's see, do I have, don't, yep, I do have a tape measure right here. Let's see. The actual cutting edge on this knife is two inches long and the actual blade length is a little, little over two and a quarter. And then the overall length on this one is right under four inches. And Lazar is just shy of three and a half and about a three and a quarter cutting edge and uh, seven and a half inches overall. So this Lazar is that perfect size for my hands. I have a medium size, medium, medium going on large size hands. And uh, it fits my hand just right. I got a little bit to spare. Uh, this one, both of them seem really, really nice. They had several different variations of both of these, different color G10s. You get it coated on this one. I don't recall if you get this one coated. I'm sure they probably had a coated version. But I will say, you know, this is, uh, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if this is going to take the place of the uh, Elementum, I mean, the, the other item like this, the McKenna. Uh, they both they both have that excellent front flip in action. Now I know upswept blades aren't for everybody. I, I personally like them. Now, you know they're not the best performers if you're gonna be cutting cardboard and stuff like that because it's pretty much that's all belly right there, so you could easily slide out of the cut. But food prep stuff like that, you know, doing those slicing motions. Or, you know, if you had to skin game with it, um, that 10 CR is highly corrosion resistant. Nitro V is also a stainless. So hopefully this one holds up well. I've heard other people say good stuff about theirs. So maybe being that mine was the first, first run, maybe I just had some, you know, maybe I just had got a bad one or something like that. And maybe it's just, I've only sharpened it, I think twice. So I'll sharpen it about two more times to see if it gets any better. See Nitro V, very tiny Nitro V right there. I don't know if you can see it. Now notice this in the pictures too. You can see the show side scale uh, sits below the lock side and that liner, it's kind of crazy they did that. It goes all the way up to the top right there. I guess so they could keep it up above here. And does it sit? It looks like it might. Nah, let's see. Let's close it up. It's pretty close. It might be flush right here. But, wait, let me open it up. You lock up. You got a, such a small little tang right there. Let's see. No play left to right. None up or down. And with this one, you got good lock up right there. I like seeing the, whenever you have these thin liners, 100% underneath the tang of the blade. And I got, I can get flex. That's because these skinny handles like this, but no up and down play whatsoever. Tons of milling in there, like always. Let's see. I wonder if, looks like, I don't want to say this. Looks like this is just G10 with a little plate back here. Is that, let me see. 
I don't know. I can't really tell. I don't have any of my lights. Yeah, I do. One more right here. For any y'all who care, let's see. Looks like it's just G10. Might be, like there's a plate right there for maybe the lanyard hole. And other than that, looks like just a G10 slab with a little plate up here for the bearings, I'm sure. Uh, ergos for my medium sized hands, perfect with that toil right there. Uh, you do get some grip with this jimping. Kind of feels a little sharp. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it won't be like that when I'm actually using it. Um, this one feels, it's probably, it feels like it's probably around 20,000 behind the edge if I had to take a wild guess. This one, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say 18 without checking it. So there you go. That is the two new Civivi models. You got the Baby Banter and the Lazar, Nitro V and 10CR right here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope I get power soon and I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.